everybody, welcome back to my channel and to the Country Finds Barn. Today is Sunday, you will be seeing this probably on Thursday, but I wanted to make a video for you because I've had a very interesting weekend and I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I do have a few clips of us going to, well something that we found, but I'm not going to give that away right now. Right now we are going to start with what has sold so far this weekend. Today is Sunday and it's a little bit afternoon so I have quite a bit of time and usually my sales don't come through until the evening. I've been working on listing this morning. I got all my Fiesta wear listed except for two plates which I need to wash. So that is all. The rest of it is listed. So let's go ahead and um, see what we sold so far this weekend. All right, this came through. This is on Posh, and this is a witch's hat, and you can put a candle in there. I've had this since last year, and she uh, bought it outright for $14, and I took it. So you put the little tea light candle in there, and the little smoke comes up through there. So somebody is getting ready for Halloween. Uh, the next thing I sold on Posh, was this shirt for $10 and it is a Budweiser shirt. I had just picked this up in the spring and I, it is extra large. So really nice shirt. I hope they really enjoyed that. Those are the only two on Posh so far. On eBay, uh, my Christmas stuff is starting to sell, at least the accessories anyways. On eBay, I sold this lot of three Lemax Christmas trees, and these sold for $22.50. They are brand new. And then also, I sold this set of spotlights, and these sold for $12.99. I sold a plush, so... I sold a Horton, here's a who, and he has a little egg in there, and he's cute. But he's going out the door for $9.82, and that is after putting him on my clearance sale with 20% off. So I am still actually making a profit because I think I only paid about 50 cents for this little guy. So even though I have a clearance sale going on, I am still making a profit and I'm sure whatever I bought him with has already sold so it's pure profit. So that is what I've sold so far, uh, five items. So the next thing I'm going to show you is some things, if you guys already seen the video that was released on Monday of the rummage sale, boy guys, that was pretty disappointing but we did get there. Uh, we went on Friday, and I think they started on Thursday, but I did not see it advertised until Friday. But they had a lot of junk, and there was like nobody there. So, we did find a couple of things, but let's go ahead and show you what I got. Alright, like I said, we went to that rummage sale on Friday. If you guys didn't see that video and you're interested in seeing it, I will link it down below for you, but we did not walk out with a, with a ton of stuff. I found these pillows. They are Norman Rockwell, and they were $2 a piece, so I went ahead and picked these up. Um, I did a fast comp on eBay, and it, says it looks like I might be able to sell them for about $30. So if that's true, that's awesome. I did wash them, so they're nice and clean. The next thing I found was this set of candlesticks. I thought these were pretty. Um, they're pretty heavy. I do not know anything about them yet. I haven't, they're just called Great Cluster. This is what the, the bottom looks like. I don't know if you guys can read that, but I thought they were pretty and I did pay the $3 for them, so and they do have some weight to them. This is a, a party light 
and I thought somebody might like this for the fall season coming up. It does include the box with it, and it, you put a candle in it. it. has been used. It just shows signs of wear in there, as you can see. Uh, I might try to get in there. Yeah, I should be able to get in there and clean that up. So I will do that. I will add that to my to-do list of cleaning things. But I thought that was really cute. And I told my husband, I said, no, if nobody's interested, I'll keep it for myself. But I think it'll go. No idea how much, maybe about $15, I'm thinking. But I haven't had a chance to look any of this stuff up yet. So uh, and the next thing we picked up is just this little bag of, I think my husband must have grabbed this and threw it in there because I didn't. But this is a little vintage bear. Let me open it up so we can get a better look. It looks like somebody might have made this. You see the bear inside? It's really cute. And it's uh, supposed to be a, like a drum. So I got that in there. Looks like this was 25 cents. Aw, uh, this is adorable. Somebody made this. That's really cute. I think my husband grabbed that for 25 cents. We'll see. I'll probably put in a lot of something. I have a lot of uh, little ornaments left from last year that I'm going to be going through and putting a bunch of lot, lots together. So I'll probably add that with it. My husband found this Lee Max Dickensville collectible skating pond and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't light up or anything, but it is a Lee Max 1991. So and then we found a couple for ourselves that we're keeping. We're growing our village along this year with all the stuff that we're picking up. If we see that it has like a chip or it's broken or something like that, we're just keeping it for our collection. So, but this one looks like it's in really good shape. So that will get listed. And then the last thing I picked up from that rummage sale, I thought this was uh, pretty cool. It's just, I guess you put it on one of these, if you have one of those, or you could put it anywhere you want. It says, accent your yard and garden with our design post collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Now it does look like it is a little damaged at the bottom. This says you can put it outside, but I honestly, I wouldn't do that. Cause this is like wood, I, I don't know. I would honestly just keep this inside. And put it somewhere but you see that it looks like it's got some the papers coming up or something right there but that's just a little bit and you know at a distance you wouldn't even be able to see that you know I could you can even put it on a shelf in the house but it does have a place where you can hang it up as well if you have maybe a covered area outside or on a back porch that's covered that would look really cute out there I kind of charge a bunch for that since it does have a little bit of use or whatever that is. That is all we got from that rummage sale. The next thing I am going to show you is some stuff that we picked up at a garage sale. And yesterday we went to Townwide Garage Sale. Our towns, I don't know if you guys, your guys' towns do this, but there was at least eight town-wide sales this weekend. Eight. And they were all around us. So I hate when they do that because it's hard to know which ones to hit. So we just hit the one right over next to us uh, to see what we could find. And we found a few things. Okay, this is some of the stuff that we picked up from the community-wide garage sale that we went to yesterday and we did pretty good as far as prices go they were not expensive this is a brand new box of Thomas Kincaid ornaments and very very pretty this is what you get in it you can take a snapshot a still if you want to to see what's in there but it does come with uh, 10 ball ornaments. So very, very pretty. 
the lady had a ton of Thomas Kincaid stuff. She had pictures that you hang on the wall for $10 and $5. She had uh, plates, Thomas Kincaid plates. She was selling for $2 a piece. Just so much stuff and her prices were awesome. And at that same sale, I ended up getting one, two, three, four music boxes, four musical things. So I picked up this one. And we did check them before we picked them up. There was a lot that did not work. And I think it was from people overwinding them to see if they worked. But this says it was from 1984. So whoever gave this to her gave it to her in 1984. But I thought that was really pretty. So I need to go do some research on all of these. We picked this one up as well. This is a Nesco and it does work, as you can see. This little boy is cleaning the floor, and this is going around. Oh, and it does have an on and off switch here. And it's plastic, it's 1981. The next thing I picked up was this Onesco as well, and it plays It's a Small World. And it has a train that goes through. See that train coming through? I thought this was really cute. And the interesting thing with, with this one is you can wind it up or you can put batteries in it because it does have an on and off switch. So that's really cute. And then same collection, Anesco, I believe. And this is a wind up as well. But Santa Claus goes around. How cute is that? So those we did pick up, that one I'm going to have to let it run. We picked those up at a different yard sale we went to, we had these two Starbucks mugs, unused, there is no signs of use on these at, at all. So I picked these up, those are really cute for fall and winter. I found this Lee Max collection village collection. It comes with the Santa and the sleigh and the reindeer and it does he does have a thing that he holds in his hand so that's attached to this. So I'm really excited about that. And all of the Hallmark keepsakes that I find they're always Christmas but I actually found a Halloween one. This is Happy Halloween. So that's really cute pick that up. On this table we found Horse of a Different Color by The Wizard of Oz. It is a keepsake ornament as well. I think my husband might have found this one. It has all the paperwork and everything inside of it. And it does light up. This doesn't look like it's been used at all. It still has the paper on it. So this is new. This hasn't even been used. And this is a Wizard of Oz. So, very cool. Like I, say, I think my husband picked that one up because I don't remember picking that one up myself. Alright, so let's go on to the rest of the stuff that we got that day. Hey, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in here because I am just hitting the jackpot on Christmas this year. And I told my husband, I said, if I wasn't interested in anything else, I would make my store all Christmas. But I'm just grabbing whatever I can. 
we went to a sale on our way home Friday from the rummage sale at the church we decided to hit a sale that I had seen listed on Facebook now we didn't plan on going till Saturday because there was another sale up that way and it was a, a, a subdivision sale but I'm glad we ended up stopping because we didn't even head that way on Saturday I wanted to go to this one to see what she had left because I knew she wasn't going to have a whole lot and she didn't this is Dickens Village we got this she was asking $5 piece on all these we got we picked up these trees I don't want to break them but they are ceramic trees from the Dickens collection so we picked up those two from her this is a department 56 Springfield house so the other two were Dickens Village and this is department 56 so very nice very nice and she had a whole box of the lights that go in with these things and I asked her how much it would be for the whole box and those were actually ones that they were adding with the villages when people bought them but she did sell me like two or three extra I have some that are already listed that don't have lights and I put in the listing that they don't have a light but now that I have extras I will be adding light to those so that will be a nice little surprise for somebody when they purchase those thinking they, they, don't, they don't have a light and they will all right i have one more round of the community sales that we went to and that will be next okay from the same lady these are the lights that she gave us to go with the villages pieces that we bought um i forgot to mention that we did keep two for ourselves because they weren't going for a whole lot on eBay, so we decided to keep them for ourselves. A couple other things that we picked up from her. My husband picked up these two pieces. Now, I'm not sure if he wanted to keep these or if he wanted to sell them. I'm going to have to ask him. But they are Lemax, so he probably will allow me to sell them. Uh, we've been picking up ones that are, like, for ourselves, like, off-brand stuff but the Limax ones we have been listing or I have been so there's those two picked up some glassware she uh, gave me these for uh, eight dollars she had them marked for ten and it comes with uh, three of these it's a small a medium one she said she was extremely busy from the time that she opened which I can imagine. She said she had a lot more village pieces, but they sold. And then the large. So these all just nest within each other. And I thought these were really pretty. And I wanted to give them a shot. I don't know anything about these. Um, but I figure somebody out there might like them. Why not, right? And then Fenton Bowl. And she gave this to us. It was marked 10, but she gave it to us for five. And it does have the Fenton tag in there. And I am going to wash this up. So this goes with the rest of the stuff I have to wash. But you just put fake flowers in there and stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. I thought that was pretty. And I know Fenton, some of it doesn't go for a whole lot, but I never find it. So when I do, I, want, I go ahead and pick it up. So there's that. And then the last sale we went to, we were at one and my husband overheard the guys telling someone else that there was another like pole barn sale on one of the back roads. Well, we never did find that, but we ended up coming across this sale. And I picked up these Harley boots. These have only been worn maybe twice the lady said her husband maybe warm twice and I did pay $20 for them they are Harley they are this is where I spent most of my money they are a size 12 so worn twice so $20 for those 
My husband picked up a jacket, a Harley jacket. The lady said, make me an offer. My husband said, I have no idea. She said, well, $40, $50. My husband said, I can do 40. So picked up this men's jacket, Harley Davidson jacket. Really great condition. She had a women's jacket as well, but that was a little bit more worn. And this is a size extra large. So my husband paid $40 for that. And since he bought that, she gave him this Affliction t-shirt for free. So I, I used to find Affliction all the time. I never find it anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and let my husband have this one because he likes affliction. I like to get, I like to try to find the ones that are a little bit more detailed, you know, you know what I mean. So he got that for free. So that is all we got from the town wides. Next, we are sitting at home and I was cruising Facebook and I noticed everybody from the sales that we went to were putting their stuff out by the road for free. So we ended up taking a trip back out to see what we could find. Here's footage on that. All right, we went to some garage sales today garage sales are over right now and people are throwing their stuff out so we're going to see what we can find okay we are after a bookcase so we should be really close to the place that we're trying to get this bookcase some stuff I don't know how much of that you've seen I ended up pulling up so we can load up the the bookcase but they're getting ready to move out of state to Florida so they just wanted all that stuff gone so we got a bookcase what else did we get a craftsman thing got a craftsman inflator yep we got a, a saw yep didn't you get a saw? Yep, yeah, got a saw. Got some, uh... uh I got a so costume. I found a costume. What else? I got, uh, some caulk guns, some sandpaper, or anything of pipe dope. I'm not sure you can say pipe dope on uh, YouTube. What else is it called? Sealant <laughs> for pipe. <laughs> I have sealant. <laughs> this is a craftsman too. Yeah. So we're just gonna drive around for a little bit and see what else we can find that is free.
You guys, we were out looking for free stuff and look what we come across. This guy does Amazon. Black hair color shampoo. <laughs> My husband talked to him and he says he does Amazon pellets. I, I, this, this would be way too much for me. I could never do this for myself. Okay, you guys. That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. We didn't find a whole lot of free stuff at that one place, but let me turn around and show you what we did get. All right. This bookcase is actually what we originally went for. Um, it was free, and that's cool. She had $3 on it, I guess, during the yard sale, and then she decided to throw it out. And the only reason she had it cheap to begin with is because it's missing the glass here and down there, but it does has, have the glass there. I'm just storing the stuff that I have picked up that I need to list in there. So that's a perfect place to store it. And after I get it list, I might just put it right back there. Always need more storage area. Okay, so my husband, or we also picked up this stuff. My husband picked up this vase, very, very pretty. He didn't know if it's anything important but he gave me, he found that for me. And then I found this costume. I haven't even looked in it to see if it's complete. She had it for 750, so I'm guessing it's complete. I don't know, but it was free. Creepy little thing. And then, I don't know, I just picked up this thing. It's like a, it's a vest of some sort. Pentagon field gear. It's a field gear jacket, I guess. All right, this is what that jacket looks like hanging up. So for free, why not, right? If it don't sell, then I didn't lose any money. And if it does sell, that's even better. But my husband picked up a couple other things he decided to keep for himself, so it wasn't a total loss. At least I got my bookcase. As you've seen, when we were driving around trying to find free stuff, we ran across this yard sale. Now, of course, nothing at this yard sale was free. We actually had missed this one in the town when we were there earlier for the actual yard sales. And he didn't have any signs up. We were driving by and I seen all these boxes in the yard and I told my husband, I'm like, is that a yard sale? Because there was no sign. He's like, I don't know. So we turned around, came back, and sure enough, it was. The guy is, uh, he buys Amazon pallets. I didn't get a chance to talk to him. There was another lady uh, standing there getting his whole life story. So I was kind of just being nosy. My husband did find out that he those were Amazon pallets when he was asking him for a price on something. Um, but he was telling this lady that he was selling on eBay and Macari, but he didn't really explain what happened. I don't know if he's really selling on them or not, but he's definitely doing Amazon now. And he gets these pallets. My gosh, guys, he does this out of his house. His garage was literally packed full of boxes. He said that he had got I think it was either one or two pallets in that morning of more stuff. And he doesn't have a warehouse. 
For somebody with that many pallets, you'd think they'd have a warehouse or at least a storage unit to put it in, but I guess, you know, not everybody does. I mean, I've watched people that don't have storage units, but I was just like blown away. And I told my husband, I says, I want to grow my business, but I don't want this, you know, talking about all the boxes laying around. Um, that would be too much for me. I mean, if you could do it, if you can handle it, great, perfect for you. But I, I need to be able to control my inventory, what's coming in and all that. And uh, I was just like blown away. I was literally blown away. And that's the first one I have found since I have been a reseller that has had that many boxes. I have come across other reseller garage sales and yard sales and stuff, but it was never to that extent. And he said he was so busy putting the boxes out that he didn't have a chance to advertise for the sale. He just figured people would stop by and sure enough, that's what they were doing. And I was asking him a couple of prices and a lot of it was like $10 and $12 and stuff like that. My, my husband bought uh, like a smart watch type thing. He paid $10 for that. I didn't buy anything because I had already been garage selling that day and I didn't have any money left. And it was just, to be honest with you, it was so overwhelming, I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, I am on the search for, and he had one, is a watering thing, automatic waterer for like animals, for cats but he said that he had one and he had sold it already. So I'm like, okay. But I, I swear to God, he looks like he had the whole Amazon warehouse in his front yard. <laughs> but, and he had more. He says he gets deliveries every single day. So I wanna know how many of you out there are like that. And how do you keep it under control? That's my question. How do you keep it under control? How do you know where everything is? And I'll be honest with you, I don't know exactly how Amazon works. I have never looked into selling on Amazon and I know that you can make a lot of money on Amazon, but I also know that you have to have a lot of product to send to them and I can't afford a bigger shed. <laughs> this is as big as I'm gonna get. And I just, that's just, hats off to all you guys or gals out there that do Amazon like that. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And tell me down below how many of you do that? How many of you may be working towards that? Or how many of you, it just gives you anxiety just to look at that video. That is all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was extremely long, but it was an extremely busy weekend. And I hope you all had some great sales, are finding some great stuff. And I'm happy with what I'm getting. So until next time, make sure you give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.